I always um, like introduce myself at the beginning of the interviews, and I don't know why. And I do it every time, for every interview, even though it's the same video. Okay. So I'm Julia, and this is Mike Oren, um, his solo project Ornament, and also from many other bands, and also from being my friend. This is Mike. <laughs> this is Noah and Nick. Thomas. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> you got zero letters in common, that's the right one. <laughs> from... Request Free Bird. <laughs> this is Victoria from Brutal Brian, she's very talented. Um, and this is Melissa, who does that? beautiful poetry. Thanks. Um, and I have a couple questions for you. Cool. I didn't come up with them, so if they're weird... <laughs> Alright, if you could control any celebrity Twitter account, who would it be, and what would you post? Donald Trump, obviously. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. I would post... I would post I would nothing. Post, <laughs> well, not, I would post nothing. That's no fun. Jokes on you, Trump. No, no, no. Obviously, <laughs> just post, uh, hey, check out Request Freebird. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so hard. I love Twitter and celebrities so much. Um, okay, right now, I think, like, have you looked at Melania Trump's Twitter? I've never seen it. It's really weird. Her cover photo is, is just a picture of her eyes. Oh my gosh. And she tweeted once a dolphin, a picture of a dolphin, and what is she thinking? So I think I would take control of Melania Trump's Twitter and just post a bunch of Lana Del Rey lyrics. <laughs> oh my god. I would like to say Eric Andre, but there's nothing more ridiculous than what he already says, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a good point. But, um, Mike, you have anybody in the world. Like, anybody in the world. Any oh celebrity? I've never thought about this in my entire life, but, like, I don't also even have Twitter, so that's kind of just confusing and weird to me, but, um, I don't know. Um, if I give you try a celebrity Twitter account. What's his name? Yeah. Is the science team? What's his name? Uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? Uh, I would greatly accelerate the, um, yeah, I guess, like, the end of the world. Tell them, <laughs> Tell them an asteroid's coming. <laughs> Just <laughs> like shit. Like, <laughs> next week. <laughs> Alright, so, did you never get into sports because you were afraid of getting injured? Um, so I, like, had some tragic experiences with sports. Not tragic. Just awkward. My dad is Colombian, so he's like really into soccer. So he really wanted me to do soccer. So he like signed me up for like the local like girls soccer team. And I like whenever I kicked a goal, it was like for the wrong team. And I constantly like I like thought that in order to like catch a ball, you had to like dramatically throw yourself to like the other side of the goal. So I kind of just was like, ah! like anyway. And that was it with sports. No. I think I stopped playing soccer because I was tired of getting kicked in the shin. <laughs> because I, I didn't have yes. shin guards, nobody gave me any. Uh, no, I did get into sports and then I got injured. And then... Did you go back to sports? After it hurt you? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> Not permanently though, because now I, I'm a music guy. And I do stuff like that. I didn't get into sports because I was afraid of getting embarrassed. <laughs> Also, I didn't like playing them. Yeah, at all. I've never enjoyed playing a sport. I can't think of one. Wait, time. wait, wait! I got into sports though. I did crew. I did. I rode. We had a lot of crew team. And I also um, played tennis. Um, so I don't know what this one means, uh, but I'm going to say it. Um, longest hoop. Longest hoop. Um. I was once working with New Michael from Asperger's or Us at this camp and he was um, in the gym and we had to leave and he was trying to shoot uh, baskets from across the entire court and I was like, come on, we need to go and he's like, no, no, hold on and he kept doing it, I was like, you're not going to make it, come on and right as I turned the lights off he made one from across the entire court so that was the longest hoop I've ever seen yeah. anybody make. I have a similar story, except for without the making it at the end. <laughs> That's not at all similar. <laughs> <laughs> that ruins the punchline. I don't know, like a hope of friendship? Like Explain. you all like hold a hula hoop? 
and then you dance around it's holding it. <laughs> That's the longest hoop. <laughs> that was 40 feet. It's the highest I can dunk. <laughs> Shit. 40 feet? Yeah, it's the highest I can dunk. It's yeah. really high. It's a really high hoop. Longest hoop. Would have to be from about here to here. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it's a good size hoop. Yeah. Thanks. Is that it? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Check around Twitter. Check out Mon and Slam later. Yeah. On the movie Space Jam. Check out uh, twitter.com slash real Donald Trump. We'll, we'll be taking it over at 3 p.m. P PST. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is been Melissa. And we'll see you later. Cool. Where would the hoop be? In the ocean? Something we'll have to find out okay. next time. We're yeah. on just trivia. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>